Let's clap our hands together. We're going to sing this Children of God song. We're going to sing, We are loved, we are forgiven, we are free. He said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. He put the stars in the sky. And it was good in his sight. Everyone go like this. He put the fish in the sea. And you created me. To the focus of your love. Let's sing, because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that out again. Because of your love. We this way. Your grace rescued me so we can praise and sing a savior and king. Let's sing out because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that again. Because of your love. We Me. Everyone go like this. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me. It's why you forgave me. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me for me. Everyone, let's sing. We are loved as loud as you can. We are loved. Joshua leads. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. I see. Listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll see here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Uh, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourn. Uh -huh. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. 
God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Zara. Welcome to my art studio. Well, today we're going to be learning about shapes and we're going to make a really cool masterpiece using these shapes. We sure are, but wait, Pastor Steve, yeah. what's a masterpiece? Oh, remember, a masterpiece is the very best thing that an artist makes. And did you know that you and you are God's masterpiece. No way! Yeah way. God made the whole world and everything in it. All the animals, the bugs, the oceans, all the stars, and of everything that he made, he looks at you and you and says, you are my masterpiece. That's amazing! Now, I, I think it's time for us to make our masterpiece. You are so right. Let's get started. Oh, I love shapes! Pastor Steve, what's yeah. your favorite shape? Oh, I like triangles. Well, I love circles. Very cool. Hey, do you know that each one of these shapes has a very special purpose? <laughs> what? <laughs> How can shapes have a special purpose? <laughs> oh, because each one is made to do something different. And each shape does something that the other shape can't do. Uh, here's a good example. Have you ever seen one of these? Yeah. yeah, it's a car. And if you've seen a car, you know that a car does not have these kind of wheels. <laughs> Square wheels? No, that wouldn't work. No, that wouldn't work at all. Or here's another example. Have you ever seen someone playing in a park with a ball shaped like a triangle? <laughs> well, well. Han did try to make one of those, but <laughs> it didn't bounce right. That's right. You use different shapes for different things. That's how they work. And did you know that the same is true for us? Pastor Steve, I'm not a triangle. <laughs> well, no, you're not a shape, but you're still made to do something special. God made each one of us to do something that only we can do. Wow. God chose me to do something special. I can't wait to see what my special purpose is. Oh, me too, Zara. I want to see what God's special purpose for you is, but I also want to see what his special purpose for you guys is, because God created each and every one of you to do something special. So when you guys look at shapes, I want you to remember that God made you for a special purpose. I can do that. Yes, you can. Well, that's our art project for today. Thanks for joining us in my studio. Remember, guys, that God loves you and he made you to do something very special that only you can do. You are chosen by God to do amazing things. Isn't that the best? I love God. And he loves you and God loves you as well. And so do we. That's right. Well, guys, we'll see you next time right here at Zara's Art Studio. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>